What time is it? It's fan theory time. We have found eight crazy fan theories about High School Musical that will leave you shook. Keep watching to find out how these Disney Channel movies are basically just like The Purge. Just remember all the good The Purge does. Musicalception. Hold on to your seats. This fan theory is a wild ride. Do you remember the movie Inception? It was all about dreams within dreams within dreams, and it was crazy. This theory combines the Inception plotline with our favorite Disney Channel musicals. Reddit user Rockaface posted this theory about four years ago. They say that the three high school musical movies are actually just one long high school musical. Okay, we know what you're thinking. Of course, the movies are musicals about high school students, but that's not quite what we mean. We're saying that all three movies were really just one long musical put on by high schoolers. The plots of all three movies didn't happen. They're just a story set to the music. They made a musical about a musical. Let's look at the facts. At the end of High School Musical 3, the cast is seen slowly walking toward a stage. The curtain falls behind them and they take a bow. Um, we're pretty sure that's not how high school graduation happen. Why would they take a bow if it's a movie? Have they really just put on a giant musical at East High? There's also the fact that High School Musical doesn't seem like any high school we've ever seen. It's pretty tame. No one talks back to teachers or starts a fight in the hallway between classes. It just doesn't seem like a real school at all. But wait, there's more. In the first and third movie, the characters are in a musical, and in the second movie, they are in a talent show. That means that they are musicals within a musical within a musical about musicals. <laughs> Whoa. This is making our head hurt. Chad plus Ryan equals love. Everyone knows that High School Musical is a love story, and Troy and Gabriella are seriously couple goals. And Chad and Taylor are also a cute couple. But there is another couple hiding in plain sight. We can't believe we never noticed. Move over, Taylor. Chad has a new love interest, and it's Ryan. Yeah, well, I'll take that as a compliment. Yep, Jock Chad and the brother of Sharpay were totally together in High School Musical 2. Don't believe us? Check this out. Ryan tries to convince Chad to dance in the talent show. Why is he so invested in getting Chad to dance? There are plenty of other people. That leads to one of the best songs and dances in the entire second movie, I Don't Dance, happens on the baseball field. Chad thinks that dancing is lame, and he gives Ryan a totally heated look. He gets Ryan to play ball with him. There is some definite attention there. The two have an intoxicating dance-off. We can't believe we missed their chemistry. They might as well have just asked each other out right then and there. It was so obvious. They were trying to impress each other and they did. And it gets better. The two decide to be friends after this. Friends? Sure, that's all it was. They go get a casual snack together. But look at them. Ryan is wearing Chad's clothes, and Chad is wearing Ryan's. Um, we have questions, Disney Channel. When did they switch clothes? And more importantly, why? We can only think of one reason they would. And it's not something that belongs in a Disney movie. But we're kind of digging these two as a couple. Are Chad and Ryan your new OTP? Breaking Bad the Musical Breaking Bad isn't a show we usually highlight here at The Things. This show is definitely not meant for kids. It's a cable show about a guy named Walter White. He was a normal guy who had a sick kid and a baby on the way. Then he finds out he has cancer and he can't pay the bills. He has some major chemistry knowledge. So he begins dabbling in extremely illegal actions to make ends meet. This show is basically the opposite of a Disney show. But there is an interesting connection between Breaking Bad and High School Musical. They both take place in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So let's assume that these two shows exist in the same universe. That means there is definitely a dark side to High School Musical that we never see. But here's the other thing that will blow your mind. Walter White was a teacher. He taught chemistry at a high school in Albuquerque. Does that mean he taught at East High before he taught at J.P. Wynn High School? <laughs> Think about it. He could have been a teacher of Troy, Gabriella, and the rest of the gang. It might explain why Gabriella is so good at chemistry. Can you imagine a crossover between these two fandoms? Chemistry. It is the study of what? Shouldn't the second equation read 16 over pi? It would be so weird. Sharpay was wronged. One of the most popular theories about High School Musical isn't really a theory. It's just a different way of looking at the story. Twitter user, at Sharpay was a victim, went on a long rant about how Sharpay was, well, a victim. And we have to admit it's pretty compelling. Sharpay's whole life was theater and music, and she devoted most of her youth to perfecting her skills. She was definitely the most qualified for the musical in the first movie. 
She tells Troy and Gabriella there are a lot of supporting roles in the show. And she wasn't wrong. Sharpay had been working hard for years to get the lead in the musical. Sharpay and Ryan's audition was way more fun and upbeat than Troy and Gabriella's. Also, the two stars showed up late in the audition. They weren't nearly as committed. And Troy really only auditioned because he had a crush on Gabriella. To make matters worse, they also showed up late to the callbacks. Sharpay was on time and ready to go. Plus, Gabriella totally froze in her audition. She really was not ready to be the lead in the musical. People make fun of Sharpay for being obsessed with theater. But once the basketball-obsessed jock is in the play, it's suddenly cool. That is not fair. It's really not okay to make fun of someone for having a passion. But Sharpay doesn't get the role. And she still tells Gabriella, Break a leg. In theater, that means good luck. <laughs> also, Sharpay only tried to sabotage their roles in the play, while Troy and Gabriella's friends tried to sabotage their whole relationship. Why is Sharpay the bad guy? Political statements. This next theory is something right out of your literature class. According to some people, High School Musical is basically a political statement against tyranny. It's like Animal Farm or Hunger Games. Well, at least it's similar, but it has a lot more singing and dancing. Both Troy and Gabriella have been stereotyped by their interests. Troy is a total jock. Gabriella is supposedly a nerd because she likes science, but they both want to break free from these roles. They want to show that they are more than just a jock and a nerd, and they want to show their friends that they don't have to date within their social group. Some people have pointed out that this is like stories where heroes rise up against an oppressive government. There's some government theory about the middle class rising up and getting new rights. We can kind of see the parallels, but if it came down to a fight between Katniss and Gabriella, our money would be on Katniss. Twinkle Town was super uncalled for. Twinkle Town is the name of the musical written by Kelsey in the first movie. We can't quite get an idea of what the play is all about. It all seems really random. Reddit user Belisarius25 has really broken Twinkle Town down, and they think that Kelsey wrote a really dark musical. They think that the couple in the play, Arnold and Minnie, try illegal substances. Then they get involved in a risky business and end up running from the law. Here's the evidence. The sets, costumes, and stuff don't make any sense. There's a city background, but there's also a camel. The theory suggests that the random stuff like the camel was actually a hallucination. The song, What I've Been Looking For, is supposed to be really serious, but fans pointed out that its lyrics could have a double meaning. Bop to the top is totally random. They're wearing fancy clothes and they randomly speak Spanish. The person who came up with this theory says this could be a metaphor for dubious activities. In fact, they believe Spanish lines were inserted to the plot to hint towards dealings with Spanish cartels. The song even mentions showing muscle which can mean using force to intimidate people. Then there's Breaking Free. The lyrics sound happy, but it's sung in a really sad tone. What if Breaking Free is actually about leaving their illegal pasts behind? Or breaking out of jail? Whoa, now that's one dark theory. Do the robot. Okay, we aren't actually talking about the dance move called the robot, but this next fan theory is wild. Reddit user PPY234 has a really detailed theory on why Troy and the rest of the Wildcats team are robots. Troy and his basketball robots are obviously behind it. We know what you're thinking, but hear us out. In the world of High School Musical, basketball is a big deal. Coach has a team of robots. He thinks that adding human emotions and empathy to one will make him a better player. So he makes Troy. Troy truly believes that he's human. Allowing the team to go to high school was all part of a project. They were trying to teach robot Troy how to feel. When Troy meets Gabriella, he begins to learn about love. Coach and the other robots are not happy. He was not intended to learn about love. They try to sabotage his relationship with Gabriella. They pay off other cliques to interfere too. The math nerds plant a camera that can live stream to a laptop. This was really advanced technology in 2006, but if they got the tech from Coach, it would make sense. But robot Troy has gone totally rogue in his love for Gabriella. Robot Troy is beyond repair, but he's important for robot research, so the coach can't destroy him. He hooks up his cyber brain to a computer. Robot Troy's brain lives out a fantasy life with Gabriella. Poor Gabriella is left alone, never knowing she fell in love with a robot. This theory is detailed, but it's pretty crazy. A more perfect AU. This last theory is a pretty popular one, and it basically says that High School Musical is a kid-friendly version of The Purge. If you aren't familiar with that movie, here's the basic idea. One night a year, everything is legal. There are no consequences. You 
you can imagine how violent the world gets. Reddit user Sky was the robot noticed that High School Musical is pretty tame. You don't see the students doing anything illegal. Of course, it is a Disney movie, but Sky was the robot wanted a better in-universe explanation. They came to the conclusion that High School Musical takes place in an alternate world without laws. The characters regularly do things that should have consequences, but they never do. For instance, they trash the whole school at the beginning of the second movie. That just isn't okay in the real world. Sharpay bribes Mr. Fulton to make the other workers miserable. There are things that he does that should be illegal. In the third movie, Troy gets accepted into Juilliard, but he never even applied. His mother committed fraud and applied for him. This is seriously unethical and illegal. In our world, that's worth up to 10 years in prison, but she never faces the music. All these illegal things are seen as totally okay. The only explanation is that there are no laws. Which of these theories are your favorites? Let us know in the comments. New around here? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos about the things. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.